Hey guys, it's your friend John here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Benchmark Power Trooper Pocket Knife. Let's take a look. And if you're wondering where I got this knife from, I got it online from eBay. Now the first thing you'll notice about this knife is the unusual way it opens and closes. Something that you definitely don't see in a lot of pocket knives. So this knife does have a very unique look and style to it and has a very interesting mechanical way of how it works and functions. Another thing that I noticed, when I'm holding this knife, it has a good quality weight feel to it. Now this knife isn't built that strong. It definitely has some flimsiness to it. I mean the handle's kind of loose and flops all over the blade and the blade does have a loose feel to it. But it's what to be expected when it comes to these types of knives, these swinging blades or these flip style knives. They have some mechanical issues, but it's just the way they're built. They're not made to be strong and sturdy. They're made to be cool and interesting. But other than its looseness, it does have a good feel to it. It doesn't feel that cheap for what it is. I definitely do like the feel of this knife. It's definitely a good quality knife for what it is. And if you look at the blade right here, it has a very interesting blade, a very menacing looking blade look has a very sick style to it. It's a very sick blade. It's not thin. And not only do you have this good blade right here, but if you take it and flip it around, you'll notice it has this little impact end right here, which can be used as another way of defending yourself. You can use it on someone's skull, damage your skull, and you can probably use this point to smash open a window. So it's nice to have this point as well that can also be used as another tool. Now one thing I really don't like about this blade other than its flimsiness, is that it has no guard here where the blade and the handle are. So when you're using this knife, your hand can very easily slip forward and hit that blade, hurting your hand, slicing your hand open, and definitely something you definitely don't want in a pocket knife, making this knife potentially dangerous to the user. So that's something I definitely don't like about this knife. But one thing I do like about this knife is this belt clip. This belt clip is very handy. You can very easily put it on your belt and put it on your side. It will stay right there. So if you ever need your knife, it's right there on your belt. You can just pull it off and you have your knife ready to go. So that's one thing I really do like about this knife is this belt clip. It is very useful when you're using it. So now that I'm done looking over the knife, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to rate it using my weapon rating system and see how this knife scores. Let's take a look. So for looks, this knife is pretty decent looking. It's not amazing or beautiful, but it's far from ugly. It has a pretty interesting overall look to it, which is why I gave it a 19 out of 30. For practicality, this knife does have a lot of issues, one of them being the handle, which is why I gave it a 10 out of 40. And for usability, it's the same story. That handle just isn't that great of a design. It has a lot of issues, which is why I gave it a 23 out of 30. And for weapon versus weapon, this knife just doesn't hold up compared to other pocket knives of similar sizes that have much better designs, more comfortable handles, that are better built with better quality. And outside class, this knife just wouldn't stand a chance against anything else. Other weapons are far more superior compared to this pocket knife. Now looking at the overall score, it got a 58 out of 150, or a 38.67, putting this knife just under passable. And comparing all the other knife scores, this knife came in 4th place and making it the second best flip style swinging blade knife I have. So now that I'm done rating this knife, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get my other two swinging blade flip style knives and compare it to this knife. Now looking at all the knives side by side, you can see some very clear differences. One of them is the size. The benchmark knife is clearly the longest, then the flip knife, then the Rough Rider knife. But I have to say the Rough Rider knife, even though it's the shortest, I think it's the best. Because it's got these two little points right here so your hand doesn't flip forward and hit the blade. On top of, it's got this belt clip where the flip knife doesn't have a belt clip. And even though this knife does have a belt clip, it just doesn't have any guard. So your hand can very easily slide up and hit that blade. And out of the three right here, I have to say the best one has to be the Rough Rider knife. It's the most practical and usable and has the best quality. Even though the Benchmark knife has a good quality weight feel to it, that's all it is, is a good weight feel. It still has that looseness and flimsiness to it. The flip knife does have a better feel. It's not as loose, it's more stiff. Same for the Rough Rider knife. So yes, the Rough Rider knife is definitely the best one 
of the three, and if I only had to have one, it'd be the Rough Rider knife. Now, you're probably wondering, is this a good knife to have? The answer is yes and no. If you want this knife to actually use as an actual knife, then no. This knife has a lot of problems and a lot of issues. But, if you want to get this knife for your collection, if you like collecting knives, or if you like weird and unusual things, then the answer is yes. This is a very interesting, very unique knife. Not a lot of knives like this out there, so I definitely like it. I have it. But, it's not a good knife as a knife. It's more like a display piece that you just display or use or something you just have on your desk. Definitely something you wouldn't want to use as an actual pocket knife. So, I'm going to wrap things up by saying thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video and my thoughts of this knife. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed before, or if the first time you're watching any of my videos. Hit notifications to be aware every time I upload a new video. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of this knife and how you would rate it. And if you want to help me get more viewers and possibly more subscribers, please share this video. Thank you. Please be sure to follow me on, on Instagram and on Reddit. But please don't follow me in real life, that would just be a little creepy. Also, check out my community on Reddit. Thank you.